Hello, Laura Freeman here with Art Oddity, and I am so excited because I get to interview our next um, spotlight artist for this spring. This is Noemi Cote. She will be our spotlight artist for May. And let me tell you guys a little bit about Noemi. Noemi is a Canadian artist with international recognition. She paints colorful contemporary impressionist landscapes in oil and her work has recently been gaining a lot of attention from private collectors and galleries. Noemi, Hi. thank you for being here. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Love the I'm intro. So thank you. So tell us more about yourself and your journey as an artist. Oh, wow. The journey of being an artist started at a really young age. Uh, if I go back to, actually, if I go back to right at the beginning, I remember asking my mom if I was any good in art. She's like, no, you're terrible as a kid. So I thought that was really funny. Um, but the first time that I noticed I had some talent and, and actually interest when I was, when I lived in Africa, I went to live in Africa when I was nine years old. And I used to draw the rose bushes because as, as I arrived there, I was a French person, only French, and, and they only spoke English there and, and then na their native language. So I was kind of a bit lonely and, and isolated. So art was the way that I dealt with the isolation or being, you know, the coming to the new community and culture. Um, kind of was art therapy. So. I noticed there's a lot of talent there. And my parents noticed that too. My dad noticed and then led me to art classes right away. And that just grew. It grew. I took lots of different type of art classes. Um, art in general, it could be it was drama, dancing, painting, ceramics, a bunch of everything. And it continued to continue. Um, my career wasn't always fine arts, but it was always in the artistic um, category, I guess, in graphic design. Uh -huh. and, and fine arts now. Beautiful. And so how did you get into oil painting? Ooh, oil painting. I started oil painting back in 2020, so not too long ago. Um, when I went back, when I was learning art in school, my favorite medium was ceramic, so mm -hmm. ceramic sculptures. And, and I wasn't so much into the painting, because what we were learning was tempera paint or acrylic. I don't know, the technique or the style. I really didn't enjoy it. But I found a local artist um, where I live and I love, love, loved his style. It's very uh, group seven. So that group seven or a group of artists uh, in Canada that were very popular back in history, um, where it's less details, it's more flowy and movement and textures. And so I took his class, classes and just picked it up like that and loved it. So I've made it more my own, but so it's only been a few years, really, of me painting with oil. Wow. Well, I mean, your work is gorgeous. It's it's yeah. absolutely stunning, and it looks like you've been painting for decades. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, how has art impacted your life? Oh my God! It's just I don't know if it's just impacted, but it's just a way of expression it's just part of me and there's times in my life that i didn't do art you know being a mom and being a single mom there was like periods of years that i didn't and it really feels like there's something missing and there's a slight depression <laughs> it's like a little doom and gloom because i'm not expressing myself or i'm not connecting to source connecting to my spirit like it's, it's a way of expressing it's a way that i need to live uh, it's, it's a huge impact because it just brings me so much joy to be able to create and to share and, and hopefully bring joy and peace to others in their homes and offices or wherever they are, their environment, yeah. connect them to nature, which is beautiful. Absolutely. And I, I feel that too. I've gone through those periods of time where I didn't paint or didn't create. And I know exactly what you're talking about with that, that slight depression, you know, suppressing that creativity is not good. There's, there's no meaning in life if I'm not doing art. Right. <laughs> right. So what words of wisdom would you like to share with any aspiring artists, aspiring painters? 
uh, I have one because it's what I had to go through. Um, I didn't do the art career. I didn't pursue this as a career until I hit my late 30s. Like I'm 41 now, so it's like really midlife crisis was starting. It's like, what's the purpose of life? And you know what was blocking me all these years from doing it is I didn't feel like I was worth it or that you, you'd be a, a struggling artist, right? So if you remove this whole mentality of you being a struggling artist and then believing that, yes, you are worth having a good career um, and, and being successful and, and, and having fun and just kind of creating your own life, then yeah, that's so important. And that, I had to go through that. Right. So my wisdom is you are worth it. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I, I really relate to you in that regard. Also, we're, we're almost the same age. And, you know, so I, I've been through that experience also. Mm -hmm. uh, so what message uh, do you send with your artwork? I, well, I write a little something in the back, usually. Um, where was the view, the photo taken? Mm -hmm. right and maybe what the meaning was uh, i remember one painting i did of last year's new new year there was a big meaning behind it uh, how the previous year there was a lot of like fogginess back and forth kind of difficult i had to really look at myself and there's a reason why the bushes and the branches were really close a lot of foreground and there's a whole there was a whole meaning behind it so i wrote in the back so it's meaningful for the person to have it um, sometimes I'll actually just put what kind of music I'm listening to, right? If I'm like listening to the '60s music or whatever it is, like if if there's a steady stream that I was listening to, then I'll, I'll make a little note, it's interesting little info. Awesome. Yeah. And most of your work is um, is it the Canadian scenery around where you live? Is that where you get your inspiration? Yes, it's, it tends to be because that's where I am. I really enjoy going out in nature and taking the photos myself, um, doing little sketches if it's not freezing winter. Um, uh, but I do work from the photos. Uh, commission pieces, commission work uh, is the client's photos that I work from. So typically, yes, it's Canadian landscape because I live in Canada, but I look forward to, to going out and, and having business trips. Take some yes. nice photos. <laughs> So tell us about um, your upcoming workshop for the Art Oddity membership. What is it going to be about? All right. So I look forward to this. Um, I look forward to breaking down my steps because it's, it's pretty systematic, the steps that I go through. Because within the box of the steps, I, I can let my creative uh, creativity loose, I, but I do need a, a frame box. Uh, I think what we should do is something, a smaller painting, uh, maybe a 12 by 12 inches, so around a foot by, uh, by foot, um, because it becomes a little gem. Obviously, it will be a landscape, and, mm -hmm. and it's important that my art in general is meaningful. I would love, I'd love for it to be meaningful for all the other artists creating art uh, on this class, so you guys can choose your own landscape find a photos, maybe find a couple photos uh, and choose your best ones. But I will also share all everything that I use. So if you don't have one and you're coming last minute, I'll have some photos to, to work from. But it's best for it to be meaningful. And also take this as an opportunity to maybe to be a present for your hubby or your wife or somebody else. Um, it could be a view of their cottage. It could be a view from a, a trip that you guys took or, you know, a romantic moment that you remember the sunsets by the water um yeah take, take a shoot to find something that's meaningful for you so be colorful hopefully yes yes, yes. awesome and, and i know you oh yes i want to see it this is, uh, oh. so around the size but Gorgeous. you can you can do a different size um but this is a nice kind of faster smaller just kind of get the idea of the the steps and then once you've learned how to do it and if you do enjoy the style and these type of steps and you can go bigger and bigger i always started small and then i i've grown now like to do big 
And I love your color choices. I'm, I'm excited to hear more about that and how you select those. And so I know you do yours in oils. Um, yes. What other materials do you use? Oh, fun. Okay. Well, here on this side, the big one here. Yes. We, we sketch on a pencil and that's painted with black Indian ink. So it's a nice, that's most, the most freeing moment of it all because you know you can cover it up with paint if it's off, you know? Um, so we'll, def, we'll be painting with black Indian ink at first. Okay. Uh, there will be some, whether it's just acrylic or tempera black paint to put on the edges because oil takes so long to dry. You don't want to, you don't want to put any black on the sides and then you can't sit it. Okay. Because so I do the like the canvas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You want a, a thicker canvas because it looks nice. When it's thicker canvas, you don't have to frame it. It has a bit of a more modern and kind of relaxed look on the wall, but if you can frame it and it'd be really nice. Thick kind of black wood frame would be nice or thin kind of gold. It's up to you how you like to frame it. So something to paint black or you can paint it all the way around. Okay. But remember it's oil. So if it's sitting, it takes a lot of time to dry. Yes, so that makes cool. sense. Right? And as you go back, you do three sides and you go back and do the bottom. I just prefer black. It's simple, it's clean. And if you do a floating frame, it looks really nice. Perfect. And besides that, it's going to be oil. Okay. Yeah. For all the actual paint on the, the canvas that you see is colorful oil. We're going to have fun mixing colors. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> yes, yes. Mixing and, and deciding on the bright colors to use. Yeah. And it's buttery and it's textury and you want to get in there and, you know, put texture. Do you See? use, um, do you have a favorite tool that you use when you're painting? I paint with brushes, uh, but I mix with my palette knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's simple. Um, I enjoy the mixing part. It's fun because you're playing. Right. Right. And you just add a little bit of that on the palette line because it's so buttery and thick and yeah. my favorite tool. They're both good. I'm excited for it. That's it sounds like so much fun. Um so where can people find you online if they want to oh, if you do and yeah. So it's hard to if you can see my name somewhere, if we have text somewhere, but it's uh noemielcote.com. So that's okay. I'm gonna try and put this in here. Because okay. <laughs> it's like nobody can spell it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, somewhere. Everywhere. Okay. And so is uh your Instagram, is it just your name or do you have something different that you use? It's Noemi El Cote. Okay. Awesome. And they should be able to see it because we've got your name um, down here awesome. underneath you. So they should be able to find you on there. Great. Okay. So your workshop is going to be May 10th and 11th. Mm -hmm. So I know it's a little bit ways away, but um, I'm, I just want to get everybody excited and ready for it because it's going to be a lot of fun. And if anybody wants to take this workshop, they can join the Art Oddity membership and um, they can reach out to Noemi to get that link, to get her affiliate link if they want to join her workshop. And um, awesome. And then when they join, they have, they have access to all the other workshops, which is yes, awesome. such yeah. great workshops. So we've got a workshop each month. Each month we have a spotlight artist um, who's teaching a workshop. And so you all can join at any time. Um, you could join now and then get all the artists leading up to Noemi. And um, I'm just so grateful and blessed and excited to have you on Art Oddity teaching this workshop. And I'm so excited. I absolutely fun. adore your work. It's just stunning. And I can't wait to, to learn your step-by-step -step process and mm -hmm. figure out how to incorporate it into my own style. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what's exciting. Yeah. You know what I thought? Um, because I pay with oil, right? Mm -hmm. So if certain people do not want to purchase or don't want to have to deal with oil, yeah. what about like a super thick acrylic? Okay, yeah. And like a heavy body acrylic? Right, like, yeah. I I'm going to try that personally, but I'm pretty sure if they're heavy enough and they, they keep that t some thicker texture, why not? Right. So, so yeah. heavy body acrylics, and that's another option. 
Okay, awesome. So it could be oils or acrylics. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's great. I'm I'm so excited. So I'm gonna open it up and see if anybody that's watching has any questions. Um, I know we've got some people watching that are excited. They're saying, you know, heck yeah, and so cool having such talented artists. So I know people are getting ready and excited. Fantastic. All, All right, right, I'll keep it as simple but as fun as possible. Yeah. Awesome. I, I you know, it looks so. Um, it looks so complex and just rich and full. And so I'm I'm excited to see, because I know you keep saying it's simple. <laughs> it looks Maybe simple. it's just in my head, I don't know, but I, I think it is. <laughs> if you break it down, right? If you, if you break it down in steps and you just don't get overwhelmed. Right. And then by the time you do the, you post the last step, it's actually easy because you've done so many steps. It's just, well, oh, flows. Awesome, beautiful. Um, well, I know Jake said he really wants to learn it and he said, nice stuff. Um, and so thank you so much for being here today. Thank Is you. there anything else that I'm forgetting to add? No, just come have fun. It's a yeah. to have fun, create, learn, and, and just enjoy the time together. Absolutely. Create, create a nice little gem. Hopefully yes. oil. It's not a little cute kind of full color and, and um, movement. Something that has adds a little pop for your room. Perfect. Well, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Noemi. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It's been, it's been a to interview you today, and I'm. I, I wish it was May already. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everyone.